Brooklyn Butch here at one of my favorite eateries, period, any place. <laughs> and that's because they're so unique, so different. They're a landmark. There's no two ways about it. When it comes to Brooklyn, they are a landmark. And uh, I come here a lot because, uh, number one, they're a customer of mine from when I had the uh, party and picnic warehouse on East 17th Street, but I mainly come to chow down and eat their great food. And let me tell you, they're known for the best pizza on planet Earth. Saying that, let's go outside and uh, check some of the people and see what they think of the food here. So, Evan, what do you think of this uh, pizza over here? It's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's fucking so, awesome, so. that's it. Look at this, 225 for a round. Same price for a square mink, that's fucking without it. Nobody gets the round pizza here anyway. Hey, nothing, nothing. Fucking pizza pretty good today. It's fresh. Well, you know, they got sauce, but the thing is, they put the cheese underneath the sauce. These guys, <laughs> they're a little clever. Yo, what's up, guys? We are at Ellen B. Spumoni Gardens for the fourth annual ice cream eating contest. <laughs> Spumoni Gardens and not get the homemade pistachio Spumoni. And unique Sicilian slice. Wow. So this time it's Sicilian pizza. It's got a thicker crust, sauce on top of the cheese. The bread is nice and soft. Good pizza. Really, really good pizza. Oh, Sicilian pizza, my favorite. Today, Ellen B has a full kitchen, dishing up all the Italian classics. And I'm heading inside to make one of my favorites, the square. I feel like I'm like in like the holy of holies. I'm actually behind the counter at Ellen B Spumoni Gardens. So what is the first step? Okay, we make the five pounds of dough. For each square, mm -hmm. we could dress this up if you want to. Please, let's. All right, here we go. Nothing's worse than naked dough on national. No, we want to cover it up a little bit. Louis decks out the dough in a creamy layer of fresh sliced mozzarella. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. We just put cheese on before the sauce. This is a groundbreaking moment in pizza <laughs> history. You understand We're this? We're doing differently here, yes. Based on time-honored Sicilian recipes, adding cheese before the sauce actually gives the square its singular toothsome texture. The cheese not only gets a chance to sort of melt into the really, really soft, doughy center of the slice, but it actually prevents the sauce from making it soggy. All right, so we put our slices of mozzarella down. Okay. Sauce? Sauce. Sauce. Salt, pepper, oregano, San Marzano, tomatoes. What's better than that? Unbelievable. And finally, the pièce de résistance, a dusting of sharp Pecorino Romano cheese. Pecorino Romano. Pecorino really Romano. And a splash of extra virgin olive oil. Just drizzle along, nice and nice. It's so yeah, funny because it it's be so hard. simple, and it's like, really? I mean, when you taste it, it seems like there's much more to it. It's classic, clean flavors, done with an expert hand. Thank you. In she goes. 15 minutes in the oven, and my square cooks to perfection. <laughs> 